Here's this year's sheep. Got six of them all together. They're still a little skittish. He's not shy. Welcome back to another episode of Whitetail Bushcraft. I'm Nick. Wanted to wish everybody a happy 4th of July. Support our troops. And today we're going to do leg of lamb with a simple recipe dry rub with rosemary and garlic. And here's our star of the show is the leg of lamb. And this is, you know, our farm raised leg of lamb here. All natural. Pretty simple recipe, and we're going to do this in the smoker today. And we're also going to smoke up some venison ribs while I got the smoker going. But I'm going to get this meat prepped. And we're going to stud this with rosemary and garlic. And then do a, a rub on top of this. So stay tuned. Pretty simple recipe for the rub. Black peppercorn. Sea salt. Some minced garlic, dried thyme, dried rosemary, some fresh rosemary and some fresh garlic cloves and some extra virgin olive oil. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to cut this up into some big chunks and we're going to stud this leg of lamb with this fresh rosemary and the garlic. Cut some slits in this, not too deep, so I'm going to lose all my juices, but pretty good holes that the garlic and the rosemary will fit in. You want to cook this fat side up, that way it will kind of self marinate itself or self baste itself I should say. And what we're going to do, shove them garlic cloves right down in there, about every other one. We're going to shove this rosemary down in there. And you want to get this lamb, I'm going to make these holes a little bigger up to room temperature before you throw it in a smoker. Let it sit out about 45 minutes. Got this all studded up with garlic and rosemary, fresh rosemary. And now we're going to brush on both sides, brush on a little extra virgin olive oil just to give something for our dry rub to stick. Going to mix up our dry rub, sprinkle that all over it, both sides. Flip it, do a little olive oil drub, a little sea salt. pepper flip her back over do the same thing with the
pepper and sea salt again. And she's ready for the smoker. That's all there is to it. Give you a look what we got for our co-star here. We got some nice venison ribs. A lot of people don't eat the venison ribs. I do. It's a lot of extra trimming of getting the fat off it. But these have been soaking in uh, cola overnight. And now they're ready for their dry rub. I think uh, deer ribs are awesome. So definitely try them, you guys. Don't throw them away. All right, to give you my uh, dry rub mix for the uh, venison ribs, what you got is a tablespoon of minced garlic, tablespoon of ground cumin, tablespoon of minced onions, tablespoon of oregano leaves, and a half a tablespoon of crushed red pepper. That's the dry rub part of it, and then I'll also add a uh, barbecue sauce on it. All right, I'm gonna put the dry rub on my ribs. Don't need any olive oil for these because they've been soaking in the uh, cold water. And also add a little ground sea salt. Also a little bit of peppercorn, black pepper. And those bad boys are ready for the smoker. Got the smoker ready, shooting for like a 230 temperature and internal temperature of the bone-in leg of lamb. We're going for 140 and then let it set for a while. That way the juices can all get back into the meat. But uh, you definitely don't want to overcook this. You want this medium to medium rare or rare. So time to put it in. I'm using a cherry wood to smoke this meat. It's a good mild smoke. It's perfect. Goes great with lamb. Even apple would work too. This is a bone-in leg of lamb. So your cook time is going to be a little longer. A lot of people butterfly these, but I like the taste that the actual bone gives it. I'm going to put it in fat side up. Okay, we put this in fat side up so it'll kind of baste itself and I put the ribs on the top. And I got to lower that heat down a little bit. Using the Masterbuilt Pro propane smoker today. Once again, I'm sitting right around 230, 250, right in that range. The worst thing you can do is overheat this or overcook this. And you want your internal meat on that leg of lamb right around 140. That's when I would pull it out and then let it sit. been about two hours. Internal temperature of the meat's about 104. Still smoking pretty good. But the ribs are ready for some barbecue sauce. I'm just using my favorite barbecue sauce and mixed it with some apple cider vinegar. And we're going to coat them right now.
give you a look at that beautiful leg of lamb. After about two hours, we're getting ready to do our ribs. The ribs are definitely done. So now we're just going to coat them. Ended up moving the smoker over by the garage. A little worried the uh, rain's going to kick up on me. Nothing like venison ribs. these up and just keep on cooking from their own heat that way they'll be nice and tender and come back to these in a little while we're right at that 139 140 range I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this beast out do now is wrap this up with foil and not touch it for at least 45 minutes let all them juices get back there and we'll wrap it up with a blanket too brought this delicious leg of lamb into the house we're going to wrap it up with tin foil we're going to wrap this up in for aluminum foil and then we're going to let this thing sit for about 45 minutes, you know, half hour to 45 minutes, just so the juices will all just go back into the meat. It'll kind of keep cooking itself a little bit. And then we're going to wrap a blanket over it also. Just to kind of keep that heat in there. Got it wrapped up in this blanket just to kind of let it sit in its own juices. And we'll come back to it in about a half an hour and we'll take a look at them ribs too. Here, we've got our smoked barbecue venison ribs. Been about a half an hour. Time to give it a little slice and give it the old taste test. Oh yeah. I like cutting it against the grain. You can see the cloves of garlic in there. Still nice. 
nice and juicy. See that meat's just falling apart. Oh, son. Like I always say, it just don't get no better than that. I'm Nick with Whitetail Bushcraft. Hope everybody had, had a happy 4th of July. Keep being out there and I'll catch you on the next video. As you can see we got a nice pink in the middle. Nice medium rare. Worst thing you can do to lamb is overcook it.